Greetings, friends. And welcome to a new series I'm going to start called the Project Gemini Song Series, in which I'm going to go through one song from the album every update and talk about its origins, some of the inspirations behind the songwriting and the lyric writing, and uh, maybe help to get you guys to understand where I was coming from when I was writing some of the songs, both musically and lyrically, and what events uh, made me write what I did for the record. So the first song that we're going to cover is ironically, if I can get this in focus somehow, is song one, An Ordinary Day. Now, I mentioned before An Ordinary Day was actually the first song that I had written musically for the record and the writing of the lyrics was quite interesting uh, and what inspired me to write them and more importantly there was a couple of places that helped me come up with the lyrics for this song so I'm gonna cut away to a few external videos that I shot in regards to this and also what I'm gonna cut in here now right after we go from this little segment is I'll show you a picture of my handwritten lyrics that I wrote for this song and you might find it ironic for people who like Rush as, as much as I do because I seem to have uh, channeled a bit of Neil Peart in the sense that I like the way he wrote his lyrics on the inner sleeve of Fly By Night which is my favorite Rush album and you'll notice some similarities in that so without any further ado Let's cut to the external sequences. Greetings, friends. Mark Anthony Kay here. And uh, this is my, gonna be my little short segment about the inspirations behind some of the songs on Ordinary Day. So let's talk about an Ordinary Day really quick. Ordinary Day was written lyrically based around my day in general. Um, every day I used to come down to this place here, which people, if they live in this area in Brampton, this is known as Chinkuzi Park. And every day I would come and do my daily walk here. And the way the title kind of came about was whenever somebody would ask me in the morning what I was doing or ask me what I did, I'd say that I'd come out here and do my regular daily walk. And I'd always used to say that if I, if I did it, it was just an ordinary day for me. So that kind of sprung into my mind when I was writing the album. And obviously there's more to it than just me taking a walk in the park, but the whole idea of routine sort of stemmed from it. And this park here is sort of the basis of where the uh, idea came from. Um, just really quickly here, when you look down this side of the sidewalk, we get down to what seems to be a little ravine area here. Sorry, I hope this is not shaking like crazy, but can't really do much with a handheld. Maybe I'll just stop here for a second. So anyways, if you look down there, there's like a little bridge. And that little section down there is the basis of another song. I believe it's Funny Feeling. Yes, Funny Feeling was kind of sort of derived off of this little bridge section and you'll probably be wondering what, what could that possibly mean but that's for another update and for another uh i guess section of the influences and the aspirations and influences of what were used to write this album so until next time Greetings friends, and welcome to another quick little segment for the Project Gemini song analyses. As you can see here, if 
you can get a good close up on that. We're here at the Brampton Flying Club. Now, you're probably wondering or asking yourself, why am I filming here? As you can see, many uh, little small single engine aircraft here. Um, when I put the picture up of the lyrics for this song, you'll notice at the bottom I put the cities in which I wrote the lyrics. And uh, Brampton was one of them, and at the bottom there was uh, another couple of cities which seemed to slip in my mind. One of them is probably Caledon, I believe it is. But this place here, where this airport is, is under a different city name. And over here is the runway. Back there is another runway and a bunch of airplanes. And believe it or not, when I had most of the, the music done and ready to go, I would make myself a little blank. I'll grab a bunch of blank CDs, put them on there, go into my car, and I would park here during the weekdays when it was nice and empty, and I would listen to the songs over and over again and write lyrics here. Why? Because airplanes are something that have been always very inspirational for me, something that I enjoy very much. Um, I've gone up many times by myself, well not by myself, with another pilot, but just me and another guy uh, in these kind of airplanes, and I've destined one day to get my pilot license for sure, but this is a place of great inspiration for me where I write lyrics. So just wanted to show you guys really quickly where another great spot of inspiration is for me, and that's right here at the Brampton Airport. See you guys later. So there you have it. That's the uh, end of song one of Ordinary Day. Hopefully this will give you a little bit of a insight as to how I approached writing the first song there. Um, lots of inspiration mainly from my walks and from my time at the uh, Brampton Airport. Usually I would go to these places because during the weekday there would be pretty empty, lots of uh, time to myself, no interruptions by anybody, and it was very handy to write lyrics at that time. And uh, a lot of the lyrics also were impacted by those places. Uh, the next song that I'll be focusing on will be song two, which is the future, and uh, a little bit of a different approach on that one, but a couple of songs also off of this album will have the airport come back in as influence, and even possibly the aspect of flying will be a part of it as well. So I hope you enjoyed that section, and uh, I will get it working on the next one for you to check out as soon as possible. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. There is a lot that's going to be starting to happen for April. I'm very excited. Vinyl on the way, t-shirts on the way, posters, lots of things. I'm so glad that it's getting to this point. Um, there's still a bunch of you out there I know who still haven't pulled the trigger yet on the CD or a digital copy, and I'm asking you, please go ahead and grab a copy. I'm getting close to my target, so... I would really appreciate it if you could uh, help me get over this last little hump and uh, we're on to other things. So thank you very much again for your help and uh, until next update, this is Mark Anthony K saying bye for now.